Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Jank Tank. This is going to be one of our last few episodes uh, of this standard season before uh, Zendikar Rising shows up. It's going to release next Friday, uh, so we'll have this episode and we'll have one other episode go up uh, next Friday. Um, I couldn't let this standard rotate though without doing a deck uh, based on High Alert. This is a Ravnica card that's going to be rotating. Uh, and it's three mana, and it makes your creatures deal damage equal to their toughness rather than their power, and your defenders can attack. So the goal of this deck is to play a lot of cheap defenders that have high toughness, and then turn those into efficient attackers by playing high alert. Um, this deck is 100% in, uh, all in on high alert. If it doesn't draw high alert or can't stick it, then it is not going to win the game, basically, is how this works. Uh, but we're in blue, so we have some decent card selection, and it's a slow deck, so it's probably fine. I haven't had many issues where, uh, or games where I couldn't find high alert. So our creatures that we're going to work with are Wall of Runes. It's a 1 mana 0-4, um, good for blocking early game, and it scries 1, which will help us find high alert. And as soon as we play it, it can start swinging for uh, 4 damage. Birth of Miletus makes an 0-4 wall token, and uh, also gets us the planes and gains us some life. Um, all of which is going to help us survive until we can land a high alert and take over the game. Fae of Wishes is a 1-4 flyer for 2 mana, which is extremely efficient, and it also has the ability to play uh, Granted to get a card from our sideboard. It's pretty expensive to do this, but you can load some pretty good uh, strategies into the sideboard to help you recover from tough scenarios. Uh, I have used this basically as a, uh, a spot to get back our high alerts if it gets destroyed. Um, as well as provide a little bit of other value in case we're running into tough encounters with um, control matchups. Um, we've got Threnody Singer. This is a flash 1-3 flyer for 2 mana, so it's going to be an efficient beater at uh, four damage or 3 damage in the air uh, once we get high alert out, and it can be a surprise blocker. Uh, sometimes it'll catch like Scorch Spitters and other cheap creatures off guard. Um, gives minus X O until end of turn where X is your devotion to blue, so it'll also shrink an attacker. Um, so it's a good surprise blocker, and it's worth including since it turns into a really good uh, attacker in this guy. Uh, we're playing Teo. Teo is a bad card. I don't normally recommend playing Teo, but this is literally the only place where it's going to get played, so we're going to run it. Uh, on its own, it gives us Hexproof, which isn't... I don't think Hexproof is a big deal in this format, but sometimes it's nice, but... um. Teo doesn't typically stick around because uh, Teo just makes O3 walls. It's going to make two three, uh, O3 walls for us, uh, which turn into 3-3 three, three creatures with high alert. So that's a decent efficiency. Um, and then sticks around with one loyalty, uh, which usually gets, gets pinged off or uh, attacked in the air, um, which is fine. It buys us some health and time. Um, so it's kind of just an efficiency uh, creature. Uh, and then we got Deputy of Detention, which is a 1-3, so it's going to be a 3-3 once we get high alert out, and it exiles a permanent, um, then opponent controls, and all other anomaly permanents they control that share a name with it. So it can hit multiple copies of the same card if your opponent's doubling up on stuff. Uh, and they get exiled until the Deputy leaves play, and then they get back uh, get their cards back. Uh, and then finally, of course, high alert. We've got Neutralize as a counterspell. Since we're running blue, we might as well run some stuff to protect our cards. Uh, we've got Keep Safe. Keep safe is another one of those bad cards, and you shouldn't run it. Um, but it serves the express purpose of keeping high alert uh, alive, so uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. This is, a, again, one of those few decks where I think it's probably okay. But if you're running this deck, I probably recommend switching out with Mystic Dispute. Mystical Dispute is going to help you land high alert through counterspell magic, um, as well as be a generally effective counterspell. Like, even if they're not playing blue... Three mana to cost them three or counter their spell usually lands. So I think Mystic Dispute's a fine card. Uh, it's probably a lot better than Keep Safe in this situation. But we're going to run Keep Safe. We'll see how it does. And Omen of the Sea is efficient card draw that digs for high alert. Um, Omen and Birth of Miletus also combo with uh, Dance of the Mance. It's in our sideboard if they destroy high alert. Uh, then we can use Fae of Wishes to get Dance of the Mance into our hand and return uh, non-aura enchantment cards uh, from our graveyard to play, and maybe make them six uh, four fours. That's a lot of mana to do that, but sometimes it happens. Uh, but more importantly, even if you don't get six or more, uh, you're getting a bunch of really efficient enchantments back. Birth of Miletus is going to get you lands 
blockers or attackers and life. High alert coming back into play turns on all your creatures again. And uh, getting Omen of the Sea will draw you into more stuff. So uh, if you can stick a Dance of the Mance, it's pretty good. That's basically the deck. The rest of it is just uh, Islands, Plains. We got Castle Vantress in there because there's no reason not to. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how we can do with it. I've had mixed results. I was going pretty well until I hit a pretty rough streak of um, Questing Beasts. Decks that can go wide with pretty big creatures are a problem if we can't stick our um, high alert. This hand is okay. I would rate it mediocre. No high alert is disappointing, but Threnody Singer might just eat this Vampire of the Dire Moons. So that's cool. If we just doesn't go Plains Healer's Hawk or uh, Plains uh, Johnny's Pride Mate, I would not like that. Right, well, time to see if we can get lucky and kill this vampire. Timrit's a little bit annoying, but he's not scary yet. Uh, seems more likely this will get killed. That's right. If they spend a murderous rider on a Threnody Singer, then okay. Guess so. Go Wall of Runes. It seems okay. Uh, I don't want a Teo. I would like High Alert, is what I want. There's Sting Bloodboard. Vampires get plus. Okay, I don't like that. That's probably gonna get Deputy Detentioned. Uh, that's not that it'll stick, but that's what we'll aim for. I guess I seriously need to consider putting a Shatter the Sky in the main deck. I've got them in the sideboard for the Fey, but it's so slow. I guess this is our best chance at slowing them down. Still expect it to eat some more removal, but maybe we'll be able to get a deputy, like the second deputy will stick, maybe. Cavalier. Cool. Counter spell is just too expensive. I don't think either of those are good. Hmm. This keep safe would have been good earlier. I guess I can go neutralize, but the Cavalier is basically going to kill me. Ooh, Knight. Yeah, i neutralize the Knight, I guess. All just seems good. He's got another knight. Great. Good game, he says. I think he's right. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's really no way to block all this effectively. Yeah, we'll concede. What a curve, too. Exactly used all his mana every turn. Good gameplay. Can't always get that lucky, but sometimes you just get to jam your five drops in turn five. This is uh, also a little mediocre, but I think we can work with this. Oh, there's a high alert. Never mind. This is a like, wonderful, outstanding hand. <laughs> I 
Alright, so our opponent's tapped out, so we're just gonna jam the high alert down and and hope that uh, this works out. Four colors. He's playing a Gates deck, so Gates of Blaze could be a problem for us. Um, I do have a solution. Was this a Gate? It is a Gate. Hmm. So... Yeah, I think the best thing to do here is just to do this. We'll, we'll take a... We'll take an unbreakable formation. So Gates of Blaze will not kill our stuff now. You guys vanishing light, okay. Let's see if we can dig up another one. Not yet, but this Castle Vantress is going to serve us pretty well. I don't think I need the Wall of Runes yet. Um, I don't know, it could be worth it to play the Fae of Runes. But if we're going to be scrying, I'd rather get the deck searching out of the way right now, is my logic. Guild Summit. Very good card. It's going to bury us in card advantage pretty quickly. Yep, look at that. Draw two. Gonna run out Fae of Wishes. We've got Unbreakable Formation if he goes for the Gates of Blaze play right now. If he doesn't, then we got Omen of the Sea. Nine lives. Okay. That's suspicious. I bet he's got something that puts more count now if it ever weaves. I don't know. Oh, he's gonna donate it to me. Cute. All right. I wonder if there's anything I have that'll uh, that'll prevent this. I guess just counter spells, right? Just get a keep safe. Like unbreakable is creatures. Okay. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to pass, I was waiting for combat damage, okay, well, hopefully he doesn't uh, go through with his combo this turn. It's a very interesting shell for... What is the donate in standard? I don't know. Don't want these. I would like to get a. Uh, that would have been better to sack both of those, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm uh, not thinking very clearly. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this banishing light. Get three counters. Okay, so he's going to use Vanishing Light to get rid of, um, to get rid of the nine lives at some point, right? So. Keep safe will not keep nine lives safe. Okay. Clever. Wasn't thinking about that. Oh, all permanence. Alright, guess guess Shadow Spear has text. Oh, 
Um, all right, I think we're about to lose here. Yet he hasn't. And I haven't either. This is uh, a lot of lands. Teo the Shield Mage. That doesn't do anything, right? Does it have to target? It might. We'll see. Still don't know what his donate tool is. Obviously, there is one, but I don't know what card it is. Can't search my library. Okay. Alright, I guess we didn't need Teo anyways. That's what I get for scrying on my turn instead of waiting like a pro. Teo stops Ashiok, I guess. Neutralize. That's a good card. Mm, yeah, keep safe does literally nothing for me. It stops. Yeah, it stops fire prophecy, but that's it, so we don't need that. It's just digging real hard. Um, so we got one neutralize. I think. Countering the Banishing Light is the best way to do this, right? Because I've already gone through one. He might not have any more. Yeah, this is so weird. Jeez. Nothing but lands. I'm just going to concede. This is drawn way too many lands here. And uh, our opponent was surely on the verge of being able to do his combo. Maybe I should have waited just so I could let him show me what the donate ability is. Target player gains control of a permanent you control. I don't know what that is. Is there a goblin that does it? I guess there's... No, there's... There's the is it spell that changes control of two permanents of the same type. That might be what it is. This is a good hand. Let's hope we can get a land and uh, try and play it slow so we can get keep safe value. The opponent is playing Umori, so this is actually trouble for us. Let's play it a little bit faster. <laughs> Because his, uh, his creatures are not going to target my cards. While their spells, at least, they will enter the battlefield and then target. Come on. That's interesting. Is it always Azorius? Is this like an Azorius Plaza specifically? I have a suspicion Umori creatures are going to be a little bigger than what I can handle. They also tend to run Gem Razor, which is dangerous for me. Maybe he'll just concede because he can't get a good hand. Who knows?
All right. Success. We got a good hand and it didn't matter. Next game, onwards. Onwards to game three. We got our token victory, but so far not the success I've been hoping for with this high alert deck. Been having fun all morning, but in the evening all the serious players come on. I mean, not that... Not that, uh, Donate Nine Lives is a serious deck. Jeez. We're gonna have to do some digging here. All the birth of Letus. That's not a card I wanted to draw. But if we find high alert, it's a good card. Builded it use. Yeah, let's, uh, let's dig with an omen. I want an island or. I'll play the plane so he doesn't know what I grabbed. Something mysterious. It's hovering over all of my stuff. Let's see if uh, if he wants to destroy any of it. Now would not be the time to spend a chant removal. Maybe he's going to play a gem razor onto the Gilded Goose. Oh, there's an Essence Symbiote. He might have been considering it. Parcel Beast. Very strong. Alright, a Fae of Wishes. Hmm. So Threnody Singer is not going to get very far in terms of decreasing the Parcel Beast's strength. I'm just going to go all the Birth of the Lutus here. See how far that gets me. There's the gem razor. All right. I mean, it's not really much of a choice. It's an 0-4 wall either way. Um, Alright, so the Fae of Wishes basically is going to get a Shadow of the Sky, is what I'm seeing. Um... There are other options. We could go Dance of the Mancer out and just get the card advantage. But it's a little slow. Is it up Trample? Reach Flying? No. Yeah, let's just get Shadow of the Sky. It's a good card.
If this keeps safe for a real counter spell, we could have stopped this gem razor nonsense. Just saying. Don't play bad cards. So he chooses to play a Gilded Goose, even though he saw the Shadow of the Sky. Plays a Trumpeting Gnar. Alright, well, I'm, I'm fine with this turn of events. Trumpeting Gnar is a good recovery. There's a Deputy of Detention, too. That's going to also be very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and just play the Fae of Wishes. Uh, it seems likely that I will discard the Fae, or uh, discard these two to return the Fae to my hand if I get the time to stabilize. So I've got three births. Uh, does this exile? Destroy target enchantment. Where's. Something must have exiled it. None of these exile. Oh, I haven't played the. Thought he destroyed my high uh, high word already. That is not the case. I think deputy is right here. Trumpeting Nar is very good. Alright, I don't know what else he's got up his sleeve besides Yomori. Might just be Yomori. Um, I think... Great horn, okay. I think I do want to go keep safe and planes and get Sublime Epiphany here. That'll get me a really nice tempo swing. Alright, so I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. I'll just I'll just go ahead and get it now. He'll have the chance to play Yamori, but there's not much we can do about that. Unfortunately, Amori is, I think, 4 power, so he's big enough to attack into me, which forces me to... If he plays Amori, then I have to do something about Umori. Otherwise, I could just wait for an opportunity to counterspell. Oh, plays a Kagwa. Okay. Um, fights up to one creature you don't control, so he's going to get back his... Okay. That's pretty good. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Going down to three would not be sufficient. I am one I'm one blue mana short of making this an okay fight, right? One, two, three, four. Be three. Yeah, it's it's just That's just sad. Hey, it's another deputy. Everything's wonderful. It's another deputy. Well, it's a good card. Oh, I don't have enough mana. I just don't... I'm just shy.
and this. He has another Kagwa, I'm not falling for it. No attacks. Alright, well, I guess he's refusing to play into our Sublime Epiphany. I don't know how that's going to work for him in the long run. Depends on what he's got in his deck, I guess. But at some point he's got to eat the Epiphany. I guess he wants to wait until he's in a better position to deal with the extra creatures and stuff. No attacks. These omens are going to help us dig for another... I don't know. High alert's good. Yeah, we can untap the Fae with high alert, so that's fine. Our opponent does not like this turn of events. <laughs> that eight mana, so not enough if I draw high alert. Gotta play something. Way to beat counter spells is just play through them. Like if he has Umori and another 3-3, three, three, he's good. I wonder if he's got something with Flash, and he's like, now's my chance. Wall of Runes and Teo. Um, I think Teo's okay. More, uh, more creatures will be useful for us. Uh, now our opponent's going to think that we have foolishly let our guard down and cannot cast the Blind Epiphany. So we might get to catch an Omori that way. Or perhaps we are the ones who have let our guard down. My protection. You can be at your best. We can be at our best, everyone. It's all Put thanks to Teo. Front. Artwork on this was really cool. I'm disappointed that it's a mediocre uh, creature or planeswalker. That was clearly a bait. <laughs> I'm uh, he can have an essence symbiote. these. I'm looking for another Fae of Wishes or High Alert. I guess I'll take a Castle Vantress. Keep the Scry Train going. I'll block them off. The three power on this Great Horn is keeping me from swinging with the Fae, which is annoying, but it's one damage a turn. It's really not anything sufficient. 
He scries to the bottom. I wonder if he knows what card will get him out of this situation. He's looking for something specific. Let's do some scrying. Scry times. More more lands. One downside to this deck is there's not a lot of action cards. Alright, it's a Fae. So we've got two Omen, three Birth of Miletus. I guess we will get um, Dance of the Mance. That seems fun. What fun. Does he have a flash thing? If he has something that flash, then he can get my neutralize this turn and then land his Amori. Ugin. All right. <laughs> well, wasn't ready for an Ugin. We did it. Well, I guess I'm not tapping out for a Dance of the Mance now. Jeez. His last card, Zumori. Yeah, sure, I'll go for it. Let's counter a spell, turn a permanent, create a token, and draw. All right, so we're going to bounce this. We're going to create a copy of this. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, we're going to bounce this, create a copy of this. I am going to draw a card, and we're going to counter the Trumpeting Gnar. And we'll exile this great horn. Alright, so I got 6, 12, 15, 19. Not quite lethal. Uh, 22? No, it's, it's not gonna do it. Let's see if we can find a high alert, though. It'd be hilarious. It's gotta be in here somewhere. We scried through half the deck. the planes. Neutralize. All right, well, I can't complain, so I've got two, four, nine, ten. Not quite enough. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, not quite enough to, um, to keep Neutralize up and Dance in the Mans for eight, so we'll bide our time for one more land. opponent is thinking about not activating anything. He can sack this food token, that's about it. We're going to combat. We're going to do th th three damage. <laughs> oh boy. I think our opponents had it. Max 
Thanks to damage. We got four damage in. Better than expected. Yeah, they're just they're just trolling us now. Let's scry. Normally I would be reckless enough to just cast this Dance of the Mance, but if our opponent is doing this, I want to be in no situation where he peels an Ugin off the top and uh, obliterates us after wasting all of our time. Or maybe they just have to wait to get a drink of water. Oh, that's another... I, mean, I guess that's the land for Dance of the Mance, so we'll go for it. Uh, Fate of Wishes. Just concede, buddy. You're not going to do anything. Gilded Goose? You got it. Goose is going to block our Fae of Wishes. We're going to put all of these lands back into the middle of our deck once we uh, put these uh, Birth of Miletus's back into play. All of our scrying will have been for nothing. remind him that it's his turn. Maybe he forgot. Oh, he passed. Put this enchantment in our discard first. <laughs> There's the high alert. Oh, man. I want to dance with the man's. We're dancing. What's X equal? It equals eight. That is the magic number. We're putting them all. Was like, what? Is this what you've been wasting my time with? Yep. Let's see if he concedes. Maybe he'll, he'll hope for a top deck Ugin. I can't really see my lands here. Oh, I miscounted my lands. We might still lose. Also, apparently, I didn't order my triggers. I should have. I could have attained this high alert. I'm gonna feel real bad if uh if he does peel an Ugin off the top here. We can't get any more planes. <laughs> Decline. Alright, I don't want any of this. Get out of here. There we go. Got that high alert in our hand. Um yeah, we'll take a Teo and a Neutralize. These both seem fine. Uh, 
All right, if he does go Ugin, we've got more stuff. Not enough more stuff because he can minus three again. He's just got a mi yeah, minus three the first time and then... And I seriously miscounted our mana. Really hope it doesn't come back to haunt us. Oh, it's X is six. That number is okay, I just don't pay attention. Did he do it? Genesis ultimatum. Alright, he might do it then. Good top deck. Does he get Nugan? Probably. There's only... It's like a 1 in 7 for any of these cards. No. 1 in 9 for any of these cards to be an Ugin. He's looking at 5 of them, so probably not, I think, is how the math works on that. Rip. No Ugin. I think that's be it. Alert. <laughs> All right, we did the whole deck. We we accomplished it once. We can go home. Sure hope this is lethal. Bam. Thirty-seven. All right. Well. We'll go back to the deck. I don't have a lot of changes to recommend. I already, I already basically told you guys, take out the keep saves because it's a bad card. It never does what you want it to. There are too many non-spell permanents that are going to destroy your stuff. People play creatures for that sort of thing, so... Keep safe, in theory, good. In practice, not great. Except for that one game that we lost because we didn't play him, so... Of course. Uh, but we can look at the sideboard. So I put the one keep safe in there for matchups where it's relevant. So maybe just keep it relegated to the sideboard. Uh, Unbreakable Formation, we saw the use for that. Uh, it would have worked if he hadn't played Shadow Spear, of course, uh, but I forgot that Shadow Spear also makes him not indestructible. I remember the Hexproof part, forgot indestructible. Um, Shadow the Sky, obvious use when you're behind on the board. You can, If you've been playing Birth of Miletus, you usually have a lot of mana. You can just go grab it and wipe the board. Um, your High Alert sticks around so you can recover pretty easily. Um, Commence the Endgame is for control matchups. Uh, if you are trying to resolve a high alert, you can just kind of bide your time and play a commence the end game. I don't know how well this works. Um, I mean, I haven't... There's never been a situation so far where I've wanted to go get it. It's very expensive for paying four first to go fetch. Sublime Epiphany worked about how we expected. We were kind of ahead, so we prepared for a big uh, game swing by getting it. And he wasn't able to play Amori because we had in our hand the whole time. Uh, emergency powers is a kind of another emergency button. Uh, if you are low on cards, seems fun. Like if there's nothing better to do and you're digging for a high alert, this might find it for you. Um, you just cast it during your main phase. You draw seven cards and put a high alert into play, then swing. Magic Mirror was kind of more uh, similar for commence the end game uh, in terms of just getting cards to deal with card advantage. If you ever have the opportunity in a grindy matchup where you're going card for card, it's good. But in my experience, a lot of those games, you don't have the time to be able to play Magic Mirror. So I'm not sure how effective it is, but it seemed fun. So I, I tossed it in and thought it might be fun. And Dance the Mance did exactly what we were looking for. Um, secondary win condition if we couldn't find a high alert. Um, just a bunch of stuff into play. We drew a bunch of cards. We were kind of okay even if he did play an Ugin because we had six cards in hand. We could have played... Uh, some creatures and stuff, and then dropped the uh, high alert to kill Ugin afterwards. 
Um, so yeah, I'd probably take the keep saves out for better counter spells. Probably take Teo out. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I want to put in. You can try I'll say device bounty up here. That'll protect your high alert as well, um, because it can give an enchantment protection from a color. Hmm. I don't know. Deck seemed okay. Ran into some difficult matchups. Some more efficient counter spell, I think, is is the best uh, answer here. Um, maybe maybe even Lofty Denial, since you've got Threnody Singers. We don't really have any other good flyers, though. It was okay. Had had to give it a shot before it rotated. High Alert's a silly card. Um, being able to swing with a Wall of Runes and Birth of Miletus Artifacts is a lot of fun. Uh, so we will have one more episode next week on Friday before... Uh, before new rotation. I already know what, what uh, cards I want to build with for Zendikar Rising. Uh, I think it's going to be very bad, but there's some that definitely stood out to me as fun to try at least. Um, so we'll have that in two weeks, and we'll have a normal episode up on Friday, and then we'll be doing a bunch of pre-releasing after that. Um, so next Monday we'll have some cube draft. I've got my uh, yeah, discard changes. I didn't fix it. I've got my cube draft here that's still ready to go. It was uh, Jeskai Stuff. Don't know if it's good stuff, but it's Jeskai Stuff. Um, hopefully winning off of Iron Crag Pyromancer is my game plan. Uh, I'll be putting up some episodes of this draft coming up on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We'll have another deck on Friday and then pre-release for the weekend. Uh, so we'll see you then. And just as a reminder, if you're playing uh, on Friday, FNM at home is still a thing. Uh, you will be able to play in oh, don't, don't see it up here but on friday this will be uh fnm at home you can play in that queue with whatever uh structure event they have for it and you can send a screenshot of your event page to your local shop and they should be able to give you some stuff like uh, codes for sleeves uh, that's every week i send a screenshot in of their fnm event and they'll have a new code to give you for random stuff just kind of extra sleeves and some commons and rares for your uh, decks to play with uh, all right, well, we'll see you next week.